meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. We're going to take you down to the Flatiron Building. Beautiful shot on our quick fill camera. And uh, I, I got to hang out in downtown Warren in front of the Flatiron Building today. It is a beautiful structure. Thanks to uh, videographer Kent Urbanski. We were touring Warren County, the fire department, Scandia, and back over to Chautauqua County. We'll give you more on that later on. If you're interested in severe storms and learning how to spot them, come down to the uh, Blasco Library, the Hurt Auditorium. Thursday night, class starts at 6.30, it's free. You can be trained to spot storms or you can just see just a very interesting and colorful uh, presentation on spring severe weather. Well, we've had that Saturday, but it's nice to see that beyond the nasty storms, sometimes you get some rainbows, so thanks to Pam, that beauty down at the Bayfront. And uh, as we look at Stormcracker, no storms for us for tonight. Now, the thing that we're going to look at also is the temperature pattern because it's just all over the place, which is very common for spring. We've only gotten up to 41 today. Normal is 49. We're fairly close to the average low at 33. But as far as precipitation is concerned, although we have nothing today, it just kind of comes and goes about every other day. So we're way above normal for the month. We're way above normal for the year. But we are up to 11 hours and 31 minutes of daylight. And just a note to the people that are getting all this national media stuff going on, it's actually four, not five planets that you're going to be able to see tonight. And I'll try to put something out on Facebook and the website about which four it actually is. Back to chills on Thursday after some showers tomorrow evening, but you get the sun back on Thursday. Now beyond that, this is how crazy the pattern is. We get the milder weather Friday into Saturday, but that comes with rain showers and maybe even a thunderstorm Saturday. Cool spot by the water, Doc Tom Miller, Niagara Pier at 37, Jim in Fairview up to 45, Becky in French Creek at 44. Uh, down south in Crawford County, 46, Kathy in Sagertown, 42, Rick in Crossingville. Oil City at 44, Warren at 45, Youngsville Chandler's Valley at 44. So we look at the big map, we got a break tonight into half of tomorrow, then this thing comes across, then there's another high that gives us a break, and then more for the weekend. And again, it's the temperature pattern, right? We got mild, cool, and then mild again, interwoven with those precipitation chances. So let's give you the forecast. It's dry tonight, it's cool, 30 to 33. That's north of 90. South of 90, a little bit colder, 28 to 31. And uh, out into the mountains of Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean counties, few clouds, cold, 23 to 28. So tomorrow it gets warmer, but late in the day we get a hit of showers, rain showers that quickly go over to snow showers, probably during the evening rush. And then they're out of there by 8 o'clock, so they quickly end tomorrow night. Thursday, we get a dry day with a lot of sun, but we're down to 42. Friday, we get a mild day, and then the rain comes. And it's still around Saturday with a chance of a thunderstorm before we chill down Saturday afternoon. Sun and cool Sunday, sun and milder Monday, warmer with showers next Tuesday. Check that forecast out on YourErie.com and the Your Erie to Go app. Okay, I like the fact that on the roller coaster, the, the, the high temperatures are getting a little warmer each time. Yeah, and actually, I think we get two dry days in a row, Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, let's not jinx.